I've been following your trail, you don't hide it well Yeah, I should've played it safe, kept my eye on ya But I didn't, now your venom's in my bloodstream yeah, What's you going on guys? Today I'm actually gonna be talking about something that You know, people have asked me about Um, as in, what's the best fishing rod? What would I recommend? Like, say someone's gonna go out and buy one rod What would I recommend for a little bit of everything you can throw almost? You know, every bait on it, and this is what I would prefer but before I even hop into this video, um, I apologize for the lack of fishing videos lately. I'm planning on posting at least two a week for right now until I get back. You know, school's been kicking my butt, to be completely honest, and um, grades are all good and everything. It's just a lot of time, a lot of work, spending and putting into schoolwork. And it's not only that, it's just hard to get a lot of fishing videos out there, especially that there's not really any lakes. Um, you know, I have the river, but that's about it. And I've been trying really hard, but for that, I actually created a whole new channel, and it's actually called College Life Films. If you guys want to check it out, I already have seven videos up right now. The reason I already have like seven videos up is because when I wanted to drag people off of here over to there, and so you guys can watch some of that stuff, I wanted you guys to have a variety to go pick through. You guys can watch this video, then watch that video, then kind of watch them all instead of just going and watch one. So um, if you guys want to go check out that channel, I'll leave the link below. I'm posting daily vlogs. I'm posting random stuff, um, hanging out with my friends, um, family activities, just stuff like that. A lot of funny stuff, a lot of cool stuff. And um, if you guys want to go check that out, go check it out. I'll leave the link below. But hopping into this video, um, you know, there's a lot of different rods out there. And the one rod that I would truly highly recommend for pretty much all-purpose rod um, is this is actually a Kuma TCS. You don't have to go with a Kuma. This is who this is what I use and this is what I recommend and this is what I like. But I'm not telling you guys you have to go use a Kuma. Um, but the rod I'm actually using, this one's called a Martin APC by a Kuma. Um, and this is the TCS series rod. But what it is is it's a seven foot medium heavy rod. You can either go from a seven foot to a seven three, that's what I would recommend medium heavy rod. You can throw almost all baits on it. Um, as you can tell, I have a chatter bait on this one. Really great. I mean, I can throw spinner baits on it. I could even throw jigs on it if you're wanting to skip under some docks. Um, but also, if you're wanting to use something like you're fishing really out deep, you're using a jig, another great rod would be like a 7.3 to 7.6 heavy power rod. That's going to be for like jigs, worms, stuff like that. But this rod right here, guys, a 7 foot medium heavy rod is really great for almost all baits um, and it's pretty much a great all-purpose rod it's gonna have a lot of tip um, it's not gonna be like a big old meat stick it's gonna have some tip it's gonna have everything that you need um, like I said you can throw a chatter bait on it I throw spinner baits on it I can throw little crank baits on it I can throw jerk bait. I mean I can really throw anything um, that's what I really like especially if you guys are on a budget this is the perfect rod to buy because you guys aren't looking to go buy three to five different setups if you guys are just looking you want maybe one to two setups um, you're gonna want to throw all baits on it this is definitely the rod I would go with seven foot medium heavy or seven three medium heavy um, works best but you know this is this is a really great rod this is I own around 40 Akuma rods um, and if I could say 10 of those rods out of those 40 50 rods I own are gonna be extra heavies and swim bait rods and flipping and punching rods stuff like that but those other 40 rods 30 of those rods are these seven foot medium heavies because I, I use them literally all the time like if I have a, a deck full of rods I have 10 rods on the deck I guarantee you at least five of those rods are seven foot medium heavy um, you know, it's just it's just so great. You can run pretty much everything on it. Like I said, it's not a meat stick. Um, one thing I really like about it is since it has a lot of tip, your accuracy is going to be a lot better. At least for me, um, if I'm using like a meat stick or a heavy power rod, it's going to be a little bit stiffer, you know. And um, for accuracy, I usually like something with a little bit of tip. So this medium heavy is going to have a little bit of tip and that perfect action that you're wanting, um, especially if you're wanting to get accuracy wise. Um, like this chatterbait right here. I can literally skip docks with this chatterbait and have that tip, you know, when I'm swinging that rod, it's having that tip, it's giving that momentum, swing that bait right up under that dock or swing that bait wherever you really want it. But guys, like I said, if you guys are on a budget looking for a rod, something I would really recommend, 7 foot medium heavy, 7.3 medium heavy, great rod. If you're looking for just something with a little bit more tip for like a jig or a worm that you're going to fish out deep. Um, 
definitely like a 7.3 to 7.6 heavy power rod is really great as well. But an all-time rod, 7 foot, medium heavy, that's what I would go for. And like I said before, this is actually an Akuma TCS Martin APC rod if you guys are looking towards the Akuma side. But if you're looking towards the other side, 7 foot, medium heavy, that's what I would get. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to start doing a lot more tip videos because it seems like you guys like a lot of tip videos. So I'll fade towards especially since I'm not going to be able to fish as much down in Savannah when I'm at college um, so I'll definitely start posting a lot more tip videos but what I want you guys to do if you guys could please leave a thumbs up on this video and also comment below I want you guys to comment what tip video do you want to see next um, if you guys could please comment that below because I want to see what you guys are wanting to know what you guys are wanting to learn and I want to help you guys out with that because that's what all this is about I want to help you guys out um, and so Leave your comments below. I'll pick a few of those. I'll go and make them, and I'll post them for you guys. But thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for um, tuning into this video, especially since I haven't been posting much lately. Thank you guys for keeping up with the channel. It really means a lot. Sorry if I sound a little stuffy right now. This weather's kicking my butt. <clears throat> my sinuses are going crazy. But thank you guys so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below on what tips you want to see. I'll catch you guys in the next video.